What's up, guys? So you know what I want to see? I want to try to put this on Octane Render. I've been hearing so much about it. So I think I should just try it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just see what happens. All right. So Octane. I know there's two of them. Octane X and then regular Octane. I don't know which one I need, but I guess I'm gonna do regular Octane. And we're just gonna see what happens. Cause I, I like, I just, like I sculpted this little character, but even like, I don't know, it, it just like, I just think that, I just feel like the sculpts would just be brought to the next level if I have a legit renderer, but I don't know how to use this at all. So we're just gonna try to figure it out together, I guess. Import, so what can we import? Oh, so we can import these. I don't think I, I don't think I saved it. So what is this? I don't even know what that is. So all we have is import. Is that really it? I don't know what these things are. So I don't know, I don't know what this is. Um, and I don't know, okay, let's see, let's see information. So this is a primitives. I don't know what file type this is. And I'm so lost. Select rendered target. All right, so let's just, let's say we want to save this. I like this view. This is a nice view as well. Although this might be uh, a little, too, this side, this, this might be too big. I didn't really, um, I didn't really optimize this yet. So maybe I should optimize it a little bit. Uh, let me optimize it and then I'll come back. Okay, so I decimated this down to 197K. Here it looks, here's with post-process, still, still looks pretty good. So let's go to, not that it really matters what our last scene was, but I'm just gonna save this as, because I don't know, um, so I'll name this one Octane. Okay, so let's export this. Let's try, I don't know what normals are. Okay, so we're gonna include the normals. So we're gonna try this one first, export, it's 21. So we'll save to files. So assets, let's add a new folder and call it Octane Test. So this will be little green A. Save an OBJ. Uh, I guess we'll keep normals as well. Color space. Try to toggle this option if the colors seem incorrect. Oh, I don't know. So we'll export an OBJ. Save to files. We'll name this one B. Octane test, save. I just saw a folder go in there. So we'll export the STL. Save to files. C. Well, now I gotta find the folder, huh? So 
save. And I don't think a nomad is going to work. I don't think a nomad file is going to work there. So, all right. So now back to Octane. Cancel whatever this is. How do we get back? New project. Okay, so is this import? List, view options, date, there we go, octane test. Little green has a folder. Hmm. So no color, but it's there. How do we get it to move up? What's this? That was a good guess. Okay, that looks good. What does this little thing do? What's this? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. All right, so there's a bunch of, this looks, these both look like export things, information. So render, we'll put it in Octane test. So let's see. Oh, now this is moving, I think. Oh, it is. All right, so I'll let this go and then I'll come back when it finishes. Looks like it's gonna take a long time. I'm gonna try to get it right when it finished. So this is, does this mean that it finished? But where is it? What's, and what's this? Okay, so let's see. Maybe it ended up somewhere. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. Um, Nomad. My saved element, assets. Oh, D. Octane test. So it's only 1.5 megabytes. Looks like garbage. So obviously I didn't really, I didn't do it right. Because it looks really bad. Huh. Let's try the other one. Let's try the bigger one. Or matter of fact, let's try this. Do you guys hear the cat? All right, let's export this. Oh, which one worked? I can't remember which one worked. Um, it was the one with the folder. I think that was OBJ. Let's try the SRGB, whatever that is. Let's export that. It's big. But I'm curious to see what happens. So we'll save it to files. We'll save it here. This one will be Terracotta. I'm sure there's some people that are watching this that are like, oh my God, you got to do this. You got to do this. I have no idea. I have no idea. I am in the dark. So this wound up being like garbage. I wonder why. Do 
light environment. Resolution. Oh, that's just the size. Clay mode. I don't know what, what most of these are. What's this? F-stop. Low would make the background blurry, right? We're not using autofocus. I don't know what's up with that. Sensor width. Okay. What is this? Uh, do we figure out what this is? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm just giving up on this. It's cut off. And what is this? I think I tried this one before. Let's try this one. It's probably going to be the same, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'll come back and see if that did anything different. But I don't, this thing doesn't even look clear right now, so I'm just confused. All right, so I guess it's, I guess it's done. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. Interesting. Daylight environment. It's kind of cool. Ooh. It's so weird. Just not what I was expecting. Okay, um, yeah, so let's take a look at what we have now. So this was the original render, here's the other render. Still looks like garbage, so I don't know. I don't know how to use this thing. This looks cool, but still it's like, it's not really clear. Like, I don't know if maybe I'm just like not doing it at a, at a high enough resolution. Perhaps. Uh, resolution. Normal rendering. Max samples. Oh, so I was using five. Let's use like 20,000. I don't know. Let's see what it does. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to try this and see if there's any difference. I still don't know the difference between these two. Save image. I feel like it's just saving the regular image. I don't think it's actually doing the render. All right, so well, we'll see. So I raised the I raised the resolution up, and we'll see. And then after this, I'll bring in the I'll bring in the the bigger model because this is like it looks bad. So that kind of sucks. So I'll bring in the other model and just see how it works. Even though that model is really big, so we'll see. Okay, so I think this took 31 minutes to render. I don't, uh, let's take a look. I 
is going to be in here. So here's the new one. It's only 1.6 megabytes. I mean, I guess it looks a little better, but still, it's really not great. So I don't know. Obviously, I don't know how to use it. I would say that for now, it's a fail, but most likely just because I don't know how to use it correctly. And that's that. I know there's a different... Uh, let's bring in... See, how do I do this? Select render target. How do I get rid of it? What's this? I don't know. What's standalone mode? Oh, I don't know what all this is. There's a lot here. There's a lot here that I do not understand. Exit standalone mode. Okay, so let's um, figure out how to load a project. Oh, Terracotta is not the right. What is this? So the one that opened was a, I don't even see it. I don't even know what that was. Was it an STL, maybe? Maybe it was this. Normals. Terra 2. Nope, that's not it either. So I guess it was an STL. Of course, it's the last thing I choose. <clears throat> so STL. Yeah, and it still does not give me the little folder. So therefore, I don't know. So maybe this with linear? Was that it? Still in the folder. Yeah, I don't know. I give up. Um, I know there's another. I wonder what other. Um, I'm trying to think of other applications people have mentioned. Oh, yeah. Mm. Isn't there like an original one? These renders look like all right, but they're not really that clear. And where's this? Where's this stuff at? Diffuse. Hmm. Huh. 